Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bob Pivot Courts for CTN's live coverage of girls' high school tennis. Tonight, a Northwest Suburban Conference matchup between the Coon Rapids Cardinals and the Centennial Cougars. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sideline for today's action and an absolutely beautiful afternoon to be at the courts. Yeah, you and I are able to work on our tans here this afternoon, so that's always that's always good. It's, uh, and it's not hot and humid. It's just perfect out. But these are two teams, Joe, that are very similar in record. 3-10 and ten for Centennial and 5-11 and 11 for the Cardinals. So I think this should be a pretty good one. As always, we will feature the first singles and first doubles matches. We will start with the first singles match. Coon Rapids' Gabby Newton in the far court will have first service to Lauren Klein for Centennial. Well, we'll see who, uh, if Gabby with the first service can set the pace here in set number one. Not the start she was looking uh, for, no. but the second serve was let. Yes. It did get in, so a second opportunity at serve two. That's going to be long. And that will be long and a double fault. Not the way that Gabby Newton wanted to start. You are correct. Long again. Climb with a nice uh, backhand, and, and again, that uh, Newton couldn't keep that point in the court, so she's trailing now. Love 30. She's trying to get Klein moving, but Played it a bit oh, too wide. Really nice service. I couldn't tell if that, I don't think that was in. Yeah, I think that was but no, I, Gabby's, I mean, yeah, Gabby's that point. Was a, that was that a beautiful was serve. Yeah. So 15-30. And Klein with the miss hit. We're even at 30. And three straight points for Newton. Gives her an opportunity to win her service. Oh, yeah, especially after falling behind for the first two, two points. And an opportunity to see if she can win this one. We will have to go to Deuce. Match got off a little bit of a late start. Centennial was a little late getting here. Good hustle to the net for Gabby Newton, and Klein had to do the same, fired a little long, so add in. Yeah, Klein on that, on that point couldn't stop her feet, so she pushed that one out back of the court. And that's, we must have been off in points. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> it's, the first, was, it's the first game of the first set. We're, right. we're already down. <laughs> well, if that was add in, yeah, that, obviously yeah. that would have been. <laughs> oh, nice, nice return by Klein. So I wonder if Klein on that one we thought was an ace actually so must have stayed in bounds. Got the return yeah. in down the line and Lily not able to, or Gabby rather not able to get there. So we're thinking it's add out. Is I think it's deuce? add out. Yeah. So now it's deuce.
Possibly. I'm guessing. We played high school. We were at tennis. We were we were supposed to call out the score every time. Every time. Well, and I think most players do. It's just a matter of hearing how loud. Yeah. Or how loudly, I suppose they were to announce the score. A little help from the tape for Klein. That was the best uh, best volley of the afternoon. I was going to say the same. So. And obviously it's game one of set one, so both still looking for their rhythm. That's so now some of the best forehand yep. shots we've we've seen thus far. So let's add out for Newton. It was a good backhand yep. from Gabby Newton. Helps her get back to Deuce. Little bit too much on the return from Klein. And we were off again. Newton wins. Oh, we're not watching doubles? <laughs> <laughs> so Newton wins, Newton wins the first one. And, you know, and, and again, a good job by Gabby because she fell behind by the first two points, but did a good job of battling back and, and keeping this first game tight. Through several deuces. Yep. None of the ones that we actually called a deuce. <laughs> we were off very early and very far. And, and probably the rest of the day will be off. So they'll switch sides of the court, and that can be important at the pivot courts. Not a lot of wind today, but we have had some relatively decent gusts from time to time. And depending on the side of the court really determines how, how much effect it has. Yep. So double fault for Klein to start. It was a good, strong yes, ground was. stroke right inside the back line. Newton not able to get the play she wanted on it. 15 all, we think. We think. Another double fault for Klein. Melina, get that racket back sooner. Both sides. So 15.30 as Klein returns to the service line. Serve one is long.
shot by Klein. She put a lot yeah, on that she, one. Well, and she really did a nice job of forcing Newton to run a bit and then kind of pinned her in that forehand uh, corner. Knew she could be aggressive. Another strong shot from Klein. Finding well, her way to the, to the net a little bit on each of the last two points. Well, after dropping that first, uh, first set, she doesn't want to give up the break here. out. I think she pointed out. If not, that would be a very nice point for yep. Klein. Again, able to establish a little bit more control, get Newton on the move. That time, Gabby just miss hit on that return of serve. Give that point back. Klein a little bit low, puts it into the net. It's a great recovery from. Yeah, it was. Newton yeah. deep in that corner. Yep, deep service. Able to put it into a great spot. And I'm sure Klein would like to have that one back because she had an opportunity. She surged to the net to, to maybe put that point away, but hit it. Had a lot net. of court to look yep. at. It's a very solid second serve. long for yep. Klein. And so Newton yep. takes game two. Yeah, both, and it's a big break break point there for Gabby, and she's able to go up to nothing now with service. Strong really ground strong. strokes from both on that opening point. Strong forehand winner for Lauren Klein. Gets her the early lead. But as we saw in Gabby's first service, not flustered by losing set, uh, first point. Double fault here puts her in that same love 30 hole, though. Seen her work herself out of the yep. love 30 hole in, in her first service, first game of the match. But not something you want to put yourself in routinely. No, I, I mean, you want, to, you want to play with the lead, not, with the, uh, not behind. Service just long. Really solid return there. 
And again, when she's able to attack on her forehand close to the net, she she definitely puts a good hit on the ball. Sure how how far down she, Gabby had to run for that, but yeah, what's going? On? Oh, that made it in. I, I thought that was going out. That one did. So she'll and a very quick service break for Lauren Klein. Well, an important one for Klein too. She did not want to fall behind three nothing and. Now she's in the situation where she gets the service break and an opportunity to see if she can tie it up. So both able to break his service early here in set one. First break, both athletes getting some coaching. Listening to the well-trained eyes of their mentors. To help them compete even stronger the rest of the way. Yes, well, you know, it's always good to, at this point because you've got that little break to take a, take a water break or just make sure you, and then you change the score between sets before you change sides. So it'll be 2-1 in favor of Gabby Newton. An opportunity for Gabby here to see if she can break service again. Both have struggled, especially on first service but a number of double faults early as well. Solid way to start for Lauren Klein. And a good volley this time, the aggressor at the net was Gabby Newton. Able to force the hit into the net. Uh, just a nice play. Again, another solid ground stroke from Lauren Klein. And you talked about when when she when her stroke is on, she's got a lot of power to it. A young slap shot. Got a lot of smoke on it. <laughs> no? Are you saying no? No. Some heat. Now Klein will take the 30 15 lead. Yeah, again, uh, Klein trying to, ch to tie this one up. First game of the first set. Fourth game of the first I'm set. I'm sorry, I meant fourth game. I meant, I meant to say fourth game. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. I know. That and the comic relief. I thought that was your Oh, game. that's right. That is mine. Better Wait, write, I was supposed I better to write be some funny material. Guy? That was a double fault, so 30 all. It's a good drop shot from Newton that yeah. initially brought Klein to the net. Klein eventually hit wide. Yeah, and, and, and as a, obviously as a singles player, you know, a lot of part of your game, you want to get to that net, but that was just a, a, a really nice return from Newton, and she just 
Klein couldn't control it at the net. So I believe this to be break point. And deuce. May not be. But I think it is. I think you're right. Likelihood of it being deuce is 50 50. <laughs> kind of like deuce. Just a mid -hit, miss hit by Klein there. Yeah, I got it with the edge of her racket. Sent it wide. So it'll be added out. This would be a big one for Gabby if she can get it. Double fault. No, it was in. She mishit that return. Oh, no. Well, why would she it was give a the double fault. Okay, but yeah, but she gave the ball back to her, so maybe she... Yeah, but... Yeah, but do. Yeah, but do. Yeah, but, yeah, but do. Quick point for Newton to start her service. And a couple of miss hits on the yep. on the opening returns. And Newton jumps up 30 love. Well yeah, in this situation, if uh, she can grab this one, she jumps she jumps to a nice lead in this first set. Up three to one. That one is long, so 30-15. And a double fall. No. Not the sit. Not 30 the. All. Yeah, I was gonna say. All of a sudden, you're up 30. 30 love and quickly, as quickly as that, you're tied at deuce. Set point for Newton. No, game point. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Decent volley, yeah. but Newton played it wide, and we go to Deuce. I thought it was a nice return, but just going on. So add out means an opportunity for Klein to take her very first lead of the first set. She will break service again. No, oh. no, she did. I... <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> yeah, that's your. <laughs> I don't know what match I'm watching. You're watching an old Wimbledon match on, on your phone. <laughs> Just 
long. And a set break yep. for Klein. Both of her wins have come on serve breaks. Three, two. As they switch sides. Yeah, Gabby would have loved to have uh, taken that one and gone up 4-1, but still with the 3-2 lead. But an opportunity here for Klein with service to see if she can tie it up. Well, she has not been able to hold the service nope. yet. Broken both times. Last four games have all been service break. The only one to hold service was Gabby Newton in the first game. Great serve from Klein. Newton a little frustrated as she returns it. A little bit of a delay, just got a yeah. late read on it. Beautiful ace right at the tee. Yeah, it looked like that one too kicked up a little bit to the outside. Beautiful return there, nice job on the forehand. Yeah, Klein's got very nice control on her ground stroke, and it's got a lot of power. Play to both corners. It's a uh, busy, busy night at the complex. Of course, we're doing this uh, match here with Centennial Tennis, but the both soccer teams in action behind us today against Standover. Not sure how it got out of the court, but it did. Also got through the gate. Newton getting a little extra exercise. Going to chase it down. I think it got out through a on a bounce jump. A very quick win for Lauren Klein. Yeah, that'll tie it up at three. So Klein doing a nice job after being down 3-1, able to get the next two games, and she's right back in it. And quite a few delays to track down balls, to clear balls from other courts. Oh, that's, you know, you, you get a lot of balls, uh, tennis balls going all over the place here with, with so much action going on. This is a huge service for Newton. Yep. Really nice ground stroke there by Klein. A little bit of a change up. Snuck it underneath the swing of Gabby Newton. Oh, 
really nice service. Oh, I thought that was in. Apparently not. And a double, a double fault. fault. Forcing Newton deep into her backhand corner and not able to return it. And three straight wins going into the next turn has Lauren Klein ahead 4 3. Yeah, that's big. Klein's, uh, Klein has done a really nice job, especially on her ground strokes and controlling the action here in this first set, especially in these last three games. She's, uh, she's done a really nice job running her around the court and giving, get, forcing her into some unforced errors. Now Klein with service and some momentum. Newton finds herself trailing for the first time. Strong service, but just wide of the mark. Very strong point again from Klein. It's not just the, the power of her ground strokes, nope. but the angle she's able to the finesse. put on yep. it because she puts it not far over that tape and on a downward plane, forcing but, her opponents to stay back. Yeah, it makes it very difficult for her to, to get the return. And, and again, Klein's just really doing a good job of taking this match over here early on. Important. I mean, Newton needs the break, but Klein is having other things to say about it. Tried the drop shot, got not enough of it. And again, a, a convincing service for Lauren Klein. And she will take a 5-3 lead. Have four straight wins for her. An opportunity to see if she can break Newton for the first set win. Great return. And an early love 15 lead for Lauren Klein. A solid answer from Gabby Newton, a good serve. Good forehand volley and 
Klein plays into the net. Make it 15 all. This time it's Newton playing it into the net. Going to be a couple break points for Klein trying to win the first set after trailing 3 1. That one played wide and The first set win, 6-3 for Lauren Klein. Well, and really in, in a great in a great fashion too, because Newton had a 3-1 lead at one, at one point in that first set. Klein did a really good job of dominating and coming back to pick up uh, the first set. And now it's up to Gabby Newton to see if she can keep it going by not dropping second set. Extend this match. Well, and she has trended towards playing better in her second sets as Gabby Newton uh, from the scores that I've seen. So we'll see how she is able to respond. We are going to move over though and check in on the first doubles team where Macy Ruddy and Adrian Hayden for Coon Rapids are taking on the duo of Ellie Fenstermeister and Sophie Wynn Fenstermacher. Sorry, Mocker. Fenster Mocker. Correct. And uh, Sophie Wynn. Cardinals had the 3 2 lead at last turn. Not sure if there's been a service between. I do know Macy Ruddy is currently serving for the Cardinals. And that was apparently game point. Yep. So, and they're not switching, so that would mean we're at 3 3. With the Cougars having just broke the service from Macy Ruddy, and it'll be Fenster Mocker serving for the Cougars. Yeah, always a good opportunity to break that service to tie your, tie your game up. We saw, you know, we saw. Lauren Clyde do that for her, their teammate in first singles. Ruddy, a good play on it near the net, but too much angle. Yeah, I like the thought that went into it. It just, uh, again, just could, didn't get the proper hit on the. Service was out. Right? I think so. Yeah, because yeah. they're staying on the yeah, same side. Yeah, service was out. They just played it a lot for a while. I was like, what just happened? Because then they no, stopped. Oh, I said out. Oh, that's a, that's a tough one there for a win because she had a good, good opportunity to get the point at the net, just again, miss it and pushed it into the net. So 15 all. And a double fault for Fenstermacher. It's a great name for yeah. broadcast. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
For sure. For sure. No question. Oh, yeah. You betcha. Welcome to Minnesota. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. You know it. Fenstermacher's first was long. And another double fault. That's how you follow up a double fault is with an yeah, ace. exactly. Swing and a miss for Adrian Hayden. A little miscommunication, but the Cougar is able to work it out. Hayden not able to return. It's yeah. possible we're a deuce. Is it possible? Sure. Anything's possible. That one was just long. Yep. Good quick oh, racket from Macy Ruddy at the net. Yeah, net, you, when you have good net play like that, you win a lot of points, and you can see it in that situation is that they're they're all up at the net, and you're able to put enough on it to get it up and over and find that back line to get the point. That one well long. Good play at the net from Wynn for the point. Yeah, service not deep enough. Pushed wide from Macy Ruddy. Service. And that's, another that's an ace for the ace game. for Stellmacher to get the win. And as they turn, it'll give Centennial the 4 3 lead. So, much like we saw at first singles, here at first doubles, their team behind early and able to come from behind and now take a lead. Over on the first singles court, it looks like uh, Lauren Klein took game one of set two. So keeping her win streak alive. There you see head coach Arnie Lammers talking to Fenstermacher and Wynn.
So this will be an important service for Adrian Hayden. Cardinals trailing for the first time here in this first set. And couldn't get return of serve, uh, return there. just long for Hayden. You can hear the dulcet tones of Tommy G, class of 73, announcing the girls soccer yep. starters behind us. Plenty of action, as you mentioned yes. earlier here at the Cardinal Sports it's always, Complex. It's always rocking here. Tommy singing the anthem. <laughs> What's the score here? It's a quiz for you, Shapiro. Do you know the score? Not a clue. Okay. <laughs> so I could say anything and you'd have no clue. It's 7 3, bottom of the fifth. I'm I sure I could look deuce. on Google. I think it's but deuce. Why 15, 30, 40 game? Why not one, two, three, four winner? Well, have you ever, if you ever heard of a comic by the name of Brian Regan, he does he does a bit on tennis scoring. It's it's so funny. How does it go from zero to 15 in one point? And he makes that point exactly. Why isn't it just one, two, three, four? First to four, win by yeah, two. Yeah, makes it makes more sense. But would be easier for novices of my caliber to yeah. keep up. It still wouldn't. <laughs> it really wouldn't. Wait, was it? Is it two to three or? Th Good play oh, for beautiful. Macy Rudy yeah. down the middle. We've seen a number of nice, uh, nice job, nice hits from her from the net. Her volleying is a big part of her game. One of the Cardinal captains. Little too much on it from Stellar or from uh, Fenstermacher. Yeah, that return again. That return by uh, Ready just not what she wanted on it. It was obviously Fenster Marker doing a good job of getting the point. She jumped all over it. Yeah, she did. Crowds are coming in here. They hear Joe Young is calling tennis. So they're coming to witness that. Then they're going to take in a soccer game after. See, Red's here. Red knew we were here, so Red's here. I'm, I'm going to go with Reds here for the soccer team and maybe a little you. bit for yeah, the tennis course. team as well. Not for you. Not for me. A little bit for Howie. Everybody's here for Howie. I've heard they're There's gonna Red. Re I've heard they're going to reissue the Howie bobbleheads. Oh, yeah. I saw them, but the heads on backwards. So. It's about right. right. It's a little freaky. Ruddy again getting her rack in the right place, not the right angle, pushed to the wide. But they did get the little balding spot on the top of my head well, so <laughs> got to give them that.
You can get in a racket there, not quite enough on it. And that's a service break for Centennial and a 5-3 lead here in the second set, or in the first set of first doubles. It was a lot for me to say, apparently. Yes. Fired wide. I think time was called yeah. before the second serve. So we had a ball on the court from first singles. So the, uh, I'll, I'll tell my point after this serve. So today is the uh, start of week two for the NFL season. And the Vikings are, uh, are playing at Philadelphia in week two, just like they did a year ago. And uh, you know where you and I were for that game? A year ago today, week two, Philadelphia at home against the Vikings. You and I were calling a game. Here at this stadium? No. No? You got me. It was soccer, and it was at Blaine. And I remember having the game up on my, uh, my, my phone. We would never do and, that. And they got destroyed that game. It's like, okay. Yeah, we would never have that. Never have that kind we of can distraction. We can multitask, sort of. I can do many things at the same time, just none of them well. Strong play at the net from Fenstermacher. Played it right at the feet of Adrian Hayden. Nothing she could do with it. Yeah, this, uh, that's, you know, perfect net play there. Always put it at the feet of your opponent. Double fault for win. And again, that great way to recover from a double fault, come back and get the ace. Put your best serve forward. Too much on it from Wynn. Knew it as soon as she hit it, put her hand on top of her head. Cougars trying to close out a first set win. Another long hit for Wynn. Allows the Cardinals to break service. Makes it 5-4. And, 
Yeah, they keep themselves close in this first set. Back on the first singles court. That is 10 straight wins for Lauren Klein since she found herself down 3-1 in the opening set. Yep, that's impressive. Well, you can see her take over the match. Early on after she was down 3-1, she just did a really nice job with a combination of really nice ground strokes and some, some errors on Newton's part. And, but uh, mostly the, the good ground strokes on the part of Lauren Klein to build up that lead and get that 10 game, 10 games in a row. Looking to close it out. And for Newton, just trying to get at least one. You got, you can't get them all at the same time. Great return, though. Cross court backhand from Klein. Nice service there from Newton. A lot of power on the return from Klein, but wide and it's two courts over. So first you have to wait for a pause in the yep, first double. They have. Then you have to wait for the pause in the second doubles. Is that what's on there? Oh no, yep. that's second singles. Second single, yep. Now Gabby's got it back. Eamon for Shapiro. I'm protected, there's a fence. One fired long from Klein. Strong play right idea for Gabby Newton, but wide of the line. Played into the net, yep. and I believe that will that do is. it. Yep. An impressive come from behind streak from Lauren Klein. 11 straight game wins to take the match 6 3 6 0. Yeah, that, that was impressive. I mean, you know, she, she put it into a different gear when, when she was down 3 to 1 and able to, to uh, really do a good job of securing the win.
Gabby Newton, after getting off to that good start, just not able to keep up with Lauren Klein in the strong forehand. And we will switch back over and watch the remainder of the first doubles match. Ruddy played it into the net, a little frustrated with that hit. And that was. That was game point, yep, so four. it was set point. Set point, yep. So. Like on the first singles court, Centennial down early, but able to come from behind, get the win in set one, six, four. An opportunity for Hayden and Ruddy to see if uh, they can even it up, but get this set. That one's long gone. Delay as they're getting someone to go running after it. Shapiro thought about I it. I thought about it, but then then I thought if I get hurt, you know what happens? And is there a lawsuit involved? And I, you know, I don't want to get my attorneys involved in this situation. So I forget. Well, you know not what? Not that just, again. I know. Not again. I'll just sit back and relax. Learned your lesson after trying attempting a half court. Shot. shot yeah exactly it's like i i have a i have a new clause it's it's a, like a disability clause in my in my pay that if i fall down and hurt my, hurt myself at an event i don't get anything but i get a little plaque <laughs> you fell down and survived no oh, that one almost came right back to I you thought, i thought i was going to get that opportunity to no concession stand to which you could no. return it for a bag, for a bag of popcorn. popcorn no. But um, I heard they're, they're going to start carrying pickle juice at the concession stand here at the, at the complex. It's, uh, Shapiro's pickle juice. <laughs> Shapiro's pickle juice. For that quick pick me up. I'll take your word for it that it helps with cramps. That no. one just out of the reach of Macy, right? You're not going to try it? You wouldn't try it? I I have drank pickle juice when I was younger. I would not do it now. I think then it was probably on a dare. Wow. But my 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 word of advice if you're gonna if you're gonna get into the pickle juice thing, make sure you strain it before you put it in the uh, in the glass. That's my that's my one trick to you. No seeds. It. No seeds, no. It's pure and adulterated pickle juice. It's game one, set two. Centennial a 6-4 win in the first. Nice drop shot from Macy Ruddy. Fenster Mocker got there but fired wide. 
Well, and she had that angle too, unfortunately. She'd love to have that one back. She had that angle with plenty of court. You can see, look at the court she has coming up here. Plenty of court, but just pushes it long, pushes it wide. So break point for the Cardinals. And not the right part of the racket on it for Macy Ruddy that time and Deuce. That one again, right at the feet of Adrian Hayden. Not a lot she could do with it. Nope. I mean, you can see when when that ball is pushed to your feet, it's really difficult to return and, and get a solid return on it. Now you can see not opportunity there for. Her. So it's add in add for in. Fenster Mocker. Great play at the net by Macy Ruddy. Gets us back to Deuce. Again, we've, we've seen it uh, a number of times for her this evening or this afternoon that she's able to have strong net play and win points from it. Played into the top of the net, so now it's add out. As Fenster Mocker continues her service. Game one, set two. Cardinals will break service to get the win in, in game one of set two. Well, that's exactly how, how they wanted to start this one. Obviously trailing by a set. To see if they can, with service, see if they can go up 2-0. Macy almost forgot to give her team the yeah. point. Starting to wonder if I missed something. Well, this is how they started out uh, in that first set. They won the first game. But uh, they're certainly looking for a better outcome than in set number one. Adrian Hayden will handle the service. Trying to build on a 1 0 lead here in the second set. Tried to lob it over his 
fenced her mocker and instead sent it long. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of finesse involved in that shot because you want you got to get enough lift on it that it gets it over your opponent. And then hopefully hitting that back line. Win able to win that point. Sneaking that shot under the. Swing of Macy Ruddy. Centennial, a very quick love 40 lead. Well, you, you know, you look at the, the doubles team from Centennial, they know they got the first set. They want to, they just want to come out here and play their best and, and win it in two. Mocker just uh, didn't get what you wanted at the net, pushed it long. Hey, there I am. I made an appearance on TV. Hey, look, I'm on TV. That one's too long from Ruddy and Service break evens the score or one apiece. A relatively quick set game number two. So they get the they get the break back, an opportunity to take the lead with their surface game. A solid winner, those long arms of Fenster Mocker coming in to play right there. Splits it down the middle. Fenster Mocker thought she had it, came up empty. Found that back corner and evens it at 15s. Okay, there's a nice shot here to get the point. Get from that far back corner. Double fault will give Coon Rapids the 15 30 lead. Ready tried to play it over her head. Which she did, yeah. but did not find the oh, court. And the return from Wynn was so deep. She had it. She had to hope for a great shot to get it over. Not the stroke that Wynn was looking for and be 30-40.
That one played to a great spot. Ruddy could not return. Deuce. Opportunity here for Centennial. Let's see if they can take the lead. Return was just yep. out, so they will take the two one lead. Already a one set advantage for the Cougars. Now an opportunity to see if they can break again and increase their lead. Of course, if you're Coon Rapids, uh, you're down a set and you want to make sure you stay in this one. So a big, big service game here for the Cardinals. captain for you. Mm -hmm. Middle of her own contests, seeing her teammates. Always encouraging. Giving a shout out and now set to serve. Didn't get the hit she wanted. Oh, tried that backhand, but just didn't get uh, a lot on. Couldn't get it over the net. Double fault. Club thirty. Oh. Back to back double fault. Yeah, that's that's huge. long and a very quick break for Centennial. That's a great spot for Centennial here. Now up 3-1 with service, Joe. And opportunity if uh, they have a good service game to really increase this lead. But the Cardinals will have something to say about it. Fenstermacher starts with a it's double contagious. fault. Most other courts looks like have finished. Yep. I think we're the lone action left. Ruddy plays it wide, 15 all. Oh. 
That one just long from Fenstermacher. Cardinals could really use a break here for yes. a number of reasons. Yes. Help keep their hopes alive, but also help their confidence. And you know, we talk all the time about the importance of staying in the game mentally and tennis more than most really gives that a challenge. Oh yeah, absolutely. Long for Fenster Mocker. Hayden catching it a little too low. That's a tough one to go after when you're on the, the opposite side of the net like that. But and she tried to win that volley at, at the net and unfortunately could not. Fenstermacher's miss hit this time into the net. Centennials win in Fenster Mocker won the first sit, 6 4. Currently have a 3 1 lead, and that now makes it a 3 2 lead as play into the net from win. Yeah, it was an important win for the Cardinals. That keeps them here in set number two. And they just want to make sure they keep it close and try and win it at the end. Both coaches an opportunity to chat with their athletes, yep. give their insights. Of course, not sure what the score in the match is. I was just going to say, if the match is being determined by this, yeah. that could change strategy on both sides. Just falls short for Fenstermacher. And quickly a 30 love lead for Coon Rapids. Yeah, that's exactly what they need. They need to make a big comeback here. Make it 40, love.
So 40 15. Just long for Macy Ruddy. Still a game point for Adrian Hayden and the Cardinals. Elder teammate out. That will bring us to Deuce. Started with three straight Coon Rapids points quickly. And now three straight for the Cougars to bring us to Deuce. Not sure if that was in or not. Couldn't tell. The way, the way she hung her head, I think she... Thought it was going to go long, but instead it did stick right in that back line, so add out. I don't know. Played into the net by Fenstermacher trying to be tall at the net. She is tall. Yes, taller. Quite tall enough for that one. Sophie Wynn fell down and she was, she was hoping she was going to be able to get up in time and grab a racket before she had to attempt another shot. Uh, fortunately for her and unfortunately for Coon Rapids, the ball did not go over. Play back into the net and we're right back to Deuce. Wind fires long. Another big opportunity with a game point yeah. for Coon Rapids. The miss it will bring us back to Deuce once more. Fenstermacher put some power into that one. A little bit, a little bit too much chili powder. So another add in for Adrian Hayden and Coon Rapids. A beautiful volley. Great play at the net yep. for Macy Ruddy. Yeah, good job. And good that job, will I... get them a win. They needed it. No. Gets set up perfectly for her. And again, you put it at the feet of your opponent. Nothing, uh, nothing good comes of it. Nice smile on the face of the Cardinal captain. Her team back to 3-3 three, three here in set two.
when service returned long and 15 love. Ready, looking for that back corner, put a little too much on it. Well, so 40 love is win serves. Great play at the net yeah. and a very convincing four straight points for Centennial. Take that lead right back. Three in favor of Centennial and the opportunity here to break service. Cardinals a good job to come back from down 3-1 in this second set, get it even, but a very strong service for Sophie Wynn. For the win. For the win. Yeah. And they take the 4-3 lead in the second, already having one set 1-6-4. One, Both coaches onto the court to do a little coaching. Both teams populating the court that was Formerly the first singles court. Was, we talked about this the final match of the of the day. Always good strategy. Does that score more points? Yeah. Beat your opponent. Friday's first one into the tape. Fenstermacher. Fires back a little low. Double fault for Ruddy. Evens it right back up at 15s. Highlight 10 is going to go see if he can find out what the uh, the score of the match is, since we only only cover two. There he is. Look at that. Highlights, Neil highlights Hennon. Hard at work. Always working, always hustling. That's what they used to call him, hustling Hennon. That was his name after the Miniota Masher. He was the original Miniota Masher.
well wide for Fenstermacher. Good play at the net that time from Adrian Hayden. Yeah, and, and Fenstermacher really felt she had the opportunity to get that point and again, just miss hit at the net. And Hennon reports that uh, this is a, an opportunity for Coon Rapids to get their only win of yeah, the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. The match already decided in favor of the visiting Cougars. So Ruddy and Hayden out there trying to avoid the sweep. Double fault makes it difficult to do that. Well, we've seen a number of those on both sides yep. of the net. Oh, absolutely. It's a tough part of the game to master for sure. Let serve. Nice seconds. That was a nice service, I mean. Great play at yeah. the net by Hayden that time. Yeah, that was set up perfectly for her. She just pounded that one. A lot of power on that. Turn from Fenster Mocker is long. Not the hit that no. Ruddy was looking for.
not sure where we are in the score. I'm not, I, I lost I, track. I, I lost a long time long ago. Time ago. <laughs> it's been a long service it really for has. Macy Ruddy. I went in off the handle of Adrian Hayden. It's all right, the chameleon's around to help Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Casey Beck jumped up and took care of it. Yep. Got it back to her teammate. There you see the, the centennial group across the fence. Cardinals all sitting along the far side of that court. Just previously occupied by the first singles match. That's going to give that one to uh, Centennial, which would make it 5-3 with service. Fenster Macher, an opportunity to win the match. Turn too long, nearly hopped the fence on the far side and you'd have to get one of the parents. Oh. Let's go find it under somebody's vehicle. <laughs> Crawl underneath, get the tennis ball. I have one right here, so in case they need one. Well, that's what I've always found interesting is they have to Play with stay this. with the same yep. two balls they started yep. the match with. It just seems it would be so much easier if you could just use any tennis ball. I mean, think about how many baseballs they go through in a oh, baseball yeah, game. Good power on that one from Fenster Mocker, but long. Great return. Yeah, sometimes you don't need to put a lot on it. Now you can just make sure you get over the top of the net and your opponent's got to be aggressive and charge from the baseline and not able to get there. Put it in that front corner. Fenster Mocker not able to react quickly enough. Good opportunity for Hayden, but got on top of it a little early. Yep. 15 all. Push that into the bottom of the net. There's an ace there. That was match point. Yep. Oh, I was That went off. quickly. You were off. So, unfortunately. An ace for match point yeah. at Card that. Cardinals, Cardinals are, are going to drop this one 7 nothing. It's unfortunate, obviously. They don't uh, certainly want that situation. And that will drop their record to 5-12 and 12 and push well, and this is a, to 4-10. This is a very young very Cardinal young team. team. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Almost everyone in the lineup will be back at least yep. next year. Got uh, some freshmen and even an eighth grader in the lineup. So you got to take your lumps sometime, learn your lessons. 
Got to gain that experience somehow. We will experience some road action football tomorrow night when the Coon Rapids Cardinals travel to take on the Knights from St. Michael Albertville. Volleyball next Monday. Cardinals at, or next Friday rather. No, uh, that's not next Friday. That's no, that's no. next Monday. That's next Monday. Says on Friday. I know. But yeah, on Monday at Andover. And then football next Friday back here against Champlin Park. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.